welcome to our show and the magnificent Canadian Rockies. In our travels on Toon Crew, we've taken you to see the high-level bridge in Lethbridge, and today we've traveled to the Canadian Rockies to see yet another engineering marvel, the Spiral Tunnels. Built right into the sides of two mountains, the Spiral Tunnels play an important role in helping CP Rail get trains safely through the Canadian Rockies. It wasn't always this way. Before the tunnels were completed, there was the Big Hill, an extremely steep section of track that required trains to hook up with pusher locomotives to make it up the hill, and for trains coming down the grade to brake really hard all the way to avoid losing control and derailing. Unfortunately, some trains did go out of control, and this one is buried deep in the woods. It's an old train wreck. That's where Canadian Pacific engineer John Schweitzer comes in. He figured that if you made the train line travel twice the distance, then you'd make the grade less steep. If a train is long enough, the engines at the front of the train will actually cross over or under the last cars of the train. The upper level of the track is 50 feet above. It makes a spiral through the mountain and comes out here. After two years of construction, the new line was ready for trains, saving both money and lives in the process. Getting back to the high-level bridge, our talented engineer, John Schweitzer, was responsible for the design of that fine structure, too. The spiral tunnels cut the steepness of the big hill in half by making the train double back upon itself. It's hard to believe that these tunnels were built way back in 1909, yet they still carry important rail traffic today, bringing Canada a little closer together in the process. The spiral tunnels and the high-level bridge remain today as functional and spectacular works of railway engineering proof of Schweitzer's great design and of their superior construction. Well, it's time for us to track on out of here. Catch you later.